So I'm here and I'm getting an error code at this carrier inverter stating that it is having a high amp draw on the inverter. Let's see, let me see. There we go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on here, it states, let's see, 77 inverter overcurrent. So I'm gonna show you a trick where you can find out if it's the inverter or if it's going to be the compressor up in there. So first thing you wanna do is Pull the power to the outdoor unit. Okay, once the power is taken off, then you want to unplug the compressor wires. And we're going to move them away. So, from here, we're going to put power back to the unit. Okay? And if we turn on the unit, and down here, it still shows a 77, a 69, or a 95 code, then it's the inverter that is bad. But if it shows a, I believe it's 79, which is, compressor, no pump. If it shows that, then more than likely, it's going to be the compressor. And then from there, what you would do is you would ohm, ohm out the compressor to see if it's grounded. All right, now with the three leads off, in the system one, we are getting, okay, let's see if it's light. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what's the first number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seventy-nine. Let's see what we got on seventy-nine. Compressor no pump event. So that means the next step would be to ohm out the compressor to see 